I saw this clip of this morning show, and, and this just proves how we're living in a time where there's this mindset of people who completely reject and vilify anything that has to do with traditional values, standards, boundaries, morality, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Wait, wait till you hear this. I want to take you back to the 1950s, or at least that's what I thought when I read this Brisbane mum's Facebook post. Brooke Smith shared her routine online. Here's what she said. I always make sure I don't go to bed until everyone's lunches are packed, their clothes are set out for the next day, including my husband's, and the house is clean, dishwasher is on, and a load of washing is on. I always get up early, 4.30, with my husband to make his breakfast and coffee. Um... Go, Brooke. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I mean, <laughs> yeah, they're mocking a mother for taking care of her family. A lot of people um, online are, are saying, well done, are, are praising her. Who? Meanwhile, these are the same people who would praise Britney Spears for posting naked photos of herself online while raising two teenage boys. You know this. You know if they did a story on Britney, they'd say, Britney's back, living her truth, coming up next. And they'd be sitting around the couch going, oh, it's just great to say she's been through so much. It's just Britney being Britney now. Good for her. Yet here they are moaning and groaning about a woman who keeps her clothes on and takes pride in taking care of her kids and her husband. Who are these people? <laughs> oh, has he hypnotized her or something? Who does this stuff? Who does this, he says. I don't know. People who love each other. People who raise children that don't end up on OnlyFans. Making his breakfast and then putting his clothes out of a night? Is he disabled or something? Like, seriously. <laughs> like, get a grip. Get off your bum and do stuff yourself. <laughs> Could you imagine being in a relationship with either of these two? Imagine this is your wife and you ask her if she could make lunch. She's, she'd be offended. She'd be like, what do you think? I'm a slave. Make it yourself. This isn't the 1950s. Hey, you know what? If it makes her happy, but I mean, nothing in that list of things there, you know. See, this is what the feminist movement created. They convinced women that taking care of your family is slavery, yet Working for someone in an office eight hours a day isn't. Now try to make sense out of that. If you can convince people of that, you can convince people of anything. Tell me what's more fulfilling than putting effort into your family. Putting effort into someone else's business. So you're telling women that working eight hours a day for someone away from your child serves a better purpose than spending your day raising your child hands on. Even if you own your own business, you're trying to say that spending more time on that than with your kids serves a greater, more fulfilling purpose in your life. Okay, so let's say that it does. Let, let's, let's look at a snapshot of the modern family right now. The husband and wife work, right? Two people work. Who's watching the child during the day? Daycare? A family member? If you're lucky, you leave work. One of you picks up the kid. You come home. Who's doing the dishes? Who's making dinner? Who's cleaning the house? You're both tired, right? Maybe you alternate. You do it a few days. Your husband does it a few days. Maybe you're both too tired. So nothing gets done. How often do you argue about who does what? You're both constantly working day and night. Nine o'clock comes around. You're exhausted. So when do you spend quality time with your kid and with each other? With no distractions. When does that happen? The weekend? Vacation time? When your boss tells you you can? I'm going to need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. So if you could be here around nine, that would be great. Okay? Now let's look at the traditional family. That apparently is considered slavery and acceptable to be mocked. You know, where the wife is the slave and the husband is the slave owner, right? You both wake up in the morning. One of you goes to work. One of you stays home. If you stay home, you got the kid all day. You clean, spend time with the kid, and cook. If you're at work, you make the money to take care of the bills that take care of the food, the kid's clothes, the mortgage, the car payment. You come home. The house is clean. Dinner's on the table. It's 7 p.m. Everything is done. You worked. You ate. The house is in order, and guess what you both get to do? Enjoy each other.
Enjoy what you both worked all day for with each other. Focus on the kid. Focus on each other. You have time. Now you tell me what system is better and which one sounds like slavery. You own a house, right? You have a family, right? Well, what better system is there than one person making the money and one person taking care of the house? Both things need to be done, right? Look, I understand that the price of living these days is ridiculous. So some people both have to work. I get that. But if you both don't have to work, then why would you? The idea that having someone home is slavery is insane. It's a system that works so things are done. It's a system that allows you to have quality time with each other. To say that there's an underlying reason for a man to want that is to have a robot as a wife tells me that the people who think that just don't know what it's like to actually love someone or be loved and want to do things for each other. Like, why does it have to be a contest? Oh, I don't need a man to make money. Like, yeah, who thought you did? Of course there's men that don't respect women. Of course those same men would want a woman to serve them hand and foot. But you can't lump those guys in with the decent men out there who appreciate the effort a good woman puts into her relationship and her family. If a guy isn't doing his part, then yeah, of course, the woman's enslaving herself. But to label people who both do their part to raise a family in the same category as some deadbeat who takes advantage of women, I mean, to me, that can only come from someone who has never been with a good man who made you feel appreciated. Maybe you need to drop the all men are pigs act. And then maybe you'll start attracting the type of guys you didn't think existed. 